So guys, um, oh my gosh, my heart's killing me. I'm Jeez. sweaty. I've been crying. I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? I'm tired of Ryan Moody slash garlic bread holding things over my head. I'm tired of him threatening me. Um, now he's coming after my sister, and he's wow. been calling her nonstop. I think the last call was like 10 minutes ago. Um, sending her a bunch of texts, which I'm gonna share some of them with you. Um, I basically threatening me, trying to silence me, trying to get a hold of my sister because he's blocked everywhere wow. on my phone, anywhere he could possibly be blocked. All of his burner numbers that he tried calling me on blocked everything. Um, I will be going to the police station tomorrow. Okay. And I believe my sister will be going too um, because she's not involved in this and her, he has no right to keep calling her, texting her, um, her attention needs to be 100% on her son at all times. Wow. So um, I'm going to read this community post I made, um, and I'm going to elaborate on some things. And then I will be going on a panel with Yo Mama. Of um, course, Okay, so trigger warning, this is a lot. Skip if you need to. Um, well, I wish you the best. now calling my sister nonstop. My sister is busy with a special needs son, and he won't let up. Whew. I don't he was care. harassing my whole family now. He doxed me, then deleted the video. Remember the video he made apologizing to me for 2.5 seconds and nobody knew that my name was Jennifer? Surprise, it's Jennifer. He said my name. Nobody else on here had known that. I had always gone by Breezy to protect myself a little bit, you know? So then he deleted that video. He shared private texts, then deleted the video. I'm going to address that Louise situation. I do believe Ryan is Louise, but... I had found out, okay, he used to fall asleep with me on the phone all the time. Right. And then, like, after a few minutes of him snoring, I would hang up and assume he was asleep. I'd go into certain people's chats that I knew he had crushes on. Like, <laughs> I knew, um... Crushes on one? You know, he's, I think he still wow. talks to a certain creator. I'm just going to say it. No, nobody else that I name, I'm coming for you. I'm just saying that he told me, like... He said he was close to Kaya Simons, and so he'd pretend to be asleep. I'd see him in her chat. Um, like, certain things would, like, Jessica, he would swear to me up and down. She doesn't even have socials. How on earth would I get in contact with her? We'd fall asleep on the phone. I'd see him in there. I remember one time I called him as soon as I saw him. I was like, you're in her chat. And he was like, no, that's a fake girl. But I'm, are you stupid? Like, you know who I am? Of course people are going to make accounts pretending to be me. He oh did that a few gosh. times, and one of the times I got smart and clicked on it, and it was really him. He got mad at me for that. He didn't talk to me for three days. You're an adult, Breezy. I'll get more into that later. He did this, like, form of punishment where I would do something wrong, and I really didn't do something wrong, and he would ice me out for three days. Mind you, this man had me convinced we were buying a house together. First, he wanted me to buy a house with his mom because his mom needed to leave her boyfriend, whatever. And he wanted me to buy a house with her because he couldn't afford another house or something. It was so confusing. Wow. Um, Take care of you and your that. daughter. I don't know I'm so upset right now. Um, he shared all oh, the Louise thing. So I think that's him because um, when I started finding out about all these people, and then a few times he would get mad at, like, Troll Detective. I know he's got mad at your mama once, meandering thoughts. And he's, like, the kind of person who says things and, like, makes threats. And I don't know. Um... And sometimes it was scary. And so when I caught him and he iced me out and all this stuff, I'm like, I can tell everybody what you're saying and doing. I want to be honest about that. Like, I could warn people what you're saying. Like, there's so many times he told me he was going to, like, destroy somebody's life because they made a video about him. So I have all this stuff, Ryan, you know? Like, so many times I wanted to warn people about him, too, because I felt stuck in this situation with him. Right. Come on now. This is so hard. And I'm sure it is, but you need to walk away. Have you ever been played and, you know, you got your heart, like, broken and knew somebody was cheating? Everybody and so it's like, you're has. doing all this and you're lying to me. Well, I'm going to tell somebody to see if they think it the same way, too, you know? He made such a big deal about the Louise thing, even though he knew, like, I'm not one of those people who expose people, like... I react to Chantal, but I'm not going around digging like, oh, did you know so-and-so might be with... Like, I'm not interested in that, but... um, 
exactly. Yeah. And I and haven't I, took none of your stuff. I remember one of the times after he got exposed and he was calling me, threatening me with a gun to his head. I said the Luis account was taken down, and he was like, "Oh, that's because I, I that's because I got the authorities involved and they took the account down." I don't think so. I think it's because he went away. Nobody wanted to watch his channel anymore, so he deleted the Luis account. But you shouldn't be putting um, stuff online if he was a dangerous okay. man. Where did I leave off? He shared private text and deleted the video. Jeez. So the Luis situation where I was like, I'm going to tell Luis. <laughs> that was that, if that clears anything up. Um, Is so this drama ever going to end? <sighs> ever? Um, then he called me threatening suicide if I broke up with him after the Jessica stuff and Christina catfishing him came out. Here's the tea on that. Um, after everything happened, well, he called me the night Jessica told everybody everything and he was begging my forgiveness and everything else but he had to keep going um take it to the cops and leave it off so i guess he was talking to her too i didn't talk to him for days didn't answer any calls then weird numbers started calling me um and then he was like jen don't hang up i don't get it and i I said why he's like i've got a gun to my head and he was like christina catfished me and i was like what so everybody was right he's like yeah but don't tell anybody he was like, she was sending me, she was pretending to be somebody else and sending me the wrong pictures, and I'm supposed to meet up at a casino with her to see what she looks like, and wow. all this stuff, like, so that's the tea on Christina, like, he had a meltdown, you guys, when everybody found out, he had a meltdown, he felt so embarrassed. So? He should. Um, he should. All right, so there was so many times where, and then I would ask him specifically, too, when he said that. I'm like, do you need me to call the police? I'll send somebody to your home. No, because I'll do it then. I'll really do it then. So it was bad. Oh, wow. He ain't going to do no I such thing. I stayed quiet for so long because I was scared what he would do to himself. I'm not a monster. He's, like, he's I hate the guy. I'll honestly say that. You're an he's adult. He's one of those people that you wish you never met. Like, I wish I never answered a DM. I want to clear up, too, like, I remember when he was making those videos and deleting, he was like, I helped her with her channel. You told me about Fiverr. (laughs) That makes logos. You didn't help me with my channel. In fact, when you first DM'd me, you were thinking about making the Gorlick Bread channel, and I fully believe you used me to shout your channel out. And then once you started doing better than me, you became my competition, and you started doing weird things, Ryan. I would send you thumbnails saying, like, Oh, I'm going to use this for, look at this thumbnail I got. Woohoo, I'm going to use this for my video. Two seconds later, you uploaded a video using my thumbnail. I would ask you, Ryan, like, why did you do that? That wasn't for you to use. And you're like, well, anybody could have got that exact picture. Anybody could have screenshotted that. Like, I'm sorry. Video but ideas is... I would tell you I was going to do. You stole that. You wanted, You had me on alert every time ALR posted. I had to tell you. That's why your ALR videos got up so fast. And this I had to tell you what was going on. It's crazy. You never even watch Foodie for yourself. I know you stay on reaction channels and you watch other videos and you get ideas from people. They're all cloudy. Anyways, I'm sorry. Every one um, of them. I have all the texts with him threatening himself with guns. He came back on this platform to lie about me to subscribers and other creators and to talk about my child to people on here. No one's talking about it's getting no back one's to child. Me, right? All of it. Just because you're not making a video on it, everything you're saying gets back to me. Everything. Um, I don't get it. Okay. I just don't. Sorry, guys. Let Can me know in the comments for y'all. To lie about me to subscribers and other creators and to talk about my child to people on here. And to try and take me down. I remember you guys. There's somebody with a reaction channel with the name Anne. And um, I don't know what Anne. I have no idea. But I remember he told me he was supposed to do a collab with her. Okay. And um, her so, boyfriend got a bad vibe and said that they couldn't do it. And yeah. he would obsessively watch their channel to make sure that he was always doing better than them. And like I feel like. He got kicked off the platform. We were like, no, we're not having this. We're not having this. We're, we, women protect each other. We're looking out for each other. He comes back. He said I was doing a little bit better now up. because I was honest. I said I messed up telling my child I was ever in a relationship. I own my faults. And then I carried on. You haven't taken any accountability. You came back hoping that we were dumb and we all forgot. Well, we didn't forget. So I truly believe, I truly believe he's trying to take me down. Why do I have to stay silent, Ryan, when you have terrorized me? 
I had a moment once after he mentally abused me for three days, which was always he loved to punish me. That was the wording, punish. And I said, I don't want to be here anymore. Once. I said that once, you guys. And it was a moment, you know, when depression really kicks in and you feel like you're not doing anything right in life. I was always in trouble with why I'm like, I was in a situation where I had to move out from my roommate because I had a roommate at my other place and things weren't good. So like, I don't know. It felt like everything was going wrong in my life. And you could probably notice it was reflecting on my channel because I wasn't as updated. Like, it was like if I made one or two videos, okay. But I had that thought once and I shared it with somebody I thought I was engaged to, mind you. He called me his soulmate. My dog is playing on the you bed. You had it all She was on the so she was like, I'm trying to make you happy. You should have kept you. it offline. Um, Go to the cops and quit doing so this. It was crazy. just really hard, you guys. Um... I did that once. I said that once. It was a real feeling. I'm obviously still here. I'm in therapy, by the way, you guys. I take medication for my depression. Like, I did the work to change what was so messed up in my life. Then what are you doing Um, on here now? Why do I have to stay silent, Ryan, when you have terrorized me? I had a moment once after you mentally abused me for three days and said I didn't want to be here anymore once. And you held it over my head. You brought it up every day that how dare I inconvenience you with that with that but do you know what do you know what you did after everything happened you threatened your life every day begging me to take you back you were trying to silence me and my family they knew i was depressed because in other text he's telling my sister did you know did you know that your sister said this and was depressed my family knows and they support me and they're here for me like you're not telling them anything you don't they don't know because i'm not a liar like you well that's good you got your, your mom family. doesn't even do know it. you have Go a youtube to channel you used to tell Go me it's because police. she couldn't handle it no it's because you don't want your mom to see all this stuff mm. your dad however i know searches your name all day and is proud of you what are you proud of him mr moody are you proud of him now i know you saw that zachary michael video and flipped out um huh. let's see <sighs> you were trying to silence me and my family. They knew I was depressed. That's why I got help. You threatened yourself with a gun and came back to YouTube. Maybe you should call the authorities. You can't be around all those guns when you just threatened your life and another creator. You know the creator that your dad found his video? You called him his phone and said he lives close to you and better watch out. Stop wow. trying to scare me. Stop trying to silence me. Stop harassing my sister who needs all her attention to be on her son. And who cares if you bought me groceries once or twice? We were fake engaged. Tomorrow, I will be busy going to the police station and finding a lawyer. I will be back Sunday. The last message is her showing me what he said and saying he called again. Thanks, Ryan, for making me get a lawyer with Christmas coming up. F you, Ryan Moody. Wow. Um, Whatever. I want to share that, you know... This is embarrassing for me to say, but I'm just going to say it. I had to move away from the roommate situation, and I needed to move fast. And he promised me we were going to buy a house together and convinced me to get an Airbnb in the city until we were going to buy a house. Do you know the second I moved out there, this is when everything started blowing up? And it convinced me to move far away from my family, you guys. Far away. So I was struggling for a bit in the beginning because he convinced me to move to a really expensive place. And by the way, I'm in my own place now, and I'm happy, healthy, me and my daughter are thriving. But I had to be in an Airbnb for a bit. So I, do you know how expensive it is to rent an Airbnb for 30 days? You're an adult. So I you was hurting for money sometimes. But this is somebody I thought was my soulmate. I was buying a house with. I was engaged to. Well, now you know so who cares not. if I needed grocery help? So, this pizza I bought myself, by the way, from Blaze Pizza. Get over Vegan, it. it was really good. So this is my proof, you guys. Um, oh, crap. Piece okay, let's try this again. I'm so upset that it's just... Sorry. Okay, so this is a screenshot just proving we were engaged. She said, I said, that was sweet. You're almost done, my love. I know. Can you come here and let me take this ring and slide it on your finger and ask you the most important question I've ever asked anyone in my life? Of course, I said, sweet. God, I was an idiot. Then he would send me stuff like, I want you now. I want you forever. I want you as my wife until my final day. I said, baby, that was so beautiful. I love you forever. Barf. Then I showed him a Blaze pizza. I'm making pizza. I was wondering. Sad, this is crying, the message worried, he sent my sister. Laughing. Hello. This is Ryan. 
Come on. I'm reaching out regarding Jennifer because I prefer to keep things private. If you would prefer to keep things quiet, why in your comment section are you talking about me and Jessica supposedly bumming money off of you? Well, what wow. money? You pay for your mom's shopping habits. Like, you, you said you take care of both your parents. You have to take care of them. You have a lawsuit against you. What money? Go, go to your therapist and go get you some help. Money? Get over them. You're sweet, but you're an adult girl. I can That's also say how you say your dad blows away all the money, but you know what? Um, I'm reaching out regarding Jennifer because I prefer to keep things private. However, she's putting messages and other things out. Messages? I'm not putting messages. I told somebody my story. When we have not talked in nearly two months. Jeez. Well, when you were gone, I didn't talk about you. Since you've come back, all I've had to do is defend myself. Despite not contacting me, she is acting as if she can contact the police or get a restraining order. A Why would I have to contact you to so get a restraining order? It. You're contacting my family. Please understand, I am reaching out with good intentions. Oh, F you, Ryan, you're the devil. However, should you not immediately stop, I will have no choice but to forward the messages I have to the authorities. I will trust you with the messages below. I want nothing but the best for Jennifer going forward. Then why did you terrorize me and try and ruin my life, Ryan? You wanted my daughter to move into a house with your mom. You want to mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but like... Are you? Come on, Breezy. <laughs> this is a joke. Yeah, okay, hey, there. I the best for there Jennifer. she told you. I'm so glad I never went out there. I'm glad my fear of flying kept me here. I dodged a bullet. I will trust you with the messages below. Okay, sorry. It said, I will trust you with the messages below. Why, well, Ryan? You've shared all my mess messages with Jessica Messica. <laughs> Nobody can trust you. Why, sh why yeah. should we? We don't owe you anything. Nobody owes you anything. I want nothing but the best for Jennifer going forward, so I would suggest you speak with her about no longer speaking about me. And then he shows me asking for help with Instacart because I have to have a certain amount of money for the Airbnb payment that you talked to me into going to. And then I needed to save money for laundry. How is this? I thought this man, let's go back and look. I thought this man was my fiance. Aren't partners supposed to help each other? I was supposed to help him fix the gutters in his house because they were flooding his basement. Girl, you've he never met him. That. You've never met the um, man. I don't know. You said something about that. Never. Employment. No, I just said I know where you work. I also know that you have problems at work because you did this to a girl there. Anyways, I do not wish to pursue, pursue this legally or publicly, but she is leaving me no choice should this continue. I respect she had a child and know this would not look good. That's a threat. That's a threat. Wow. That's what this is. And then my sister said he just called. I sent it to ignore because she did a copy and paste to show me all his messages. She said there were so many messages. It, I mean, I'm still getting some. There's so many calls. Like, come on. Just go get you some and help. Guys, like, I'm sick of him holding this over my head. I'm sick of carrying this burden. He can't come after me. And he's always done all this stuff. And if he tries, it doesn't matter because tomorrow I'm going to the police station. I'm going to see what I could do about getting a restraining order. I have messages of everybody sending me stuff that he's saying about me and my kid. Do it. Just do and it. And discords to other creators, to a bunch of people. Just I am armed Just with do receipts. It. I know before he made me promise I was um, deleting my text messages after, I don't know, somewhere in between the made Jessica you and the Christina delete. thing. So Not things in the same state. Receipts, but I do. Oh, and I sent a lot of things to my mom. Um, we're ready. And my sister's going to see what she could do, too. He can't keep harassing her. Bless your heart, girl. His mom doesn't know. He d Ryan does YouTube, and I haven't even contacted her. Go I haven't get contacted you at all, Ryan. Nobody your daughter. Is calling me from fake numbers and burner numbers. So I'm going to go on your mama's panel and talk about this further, you guys. Of course. Um, I picked your mama's um, platform to go on because he's involved in both communities. In right. the modern world, in our world now. Whether you like him or not. I ain't got nothing if I can get this story mama. shared and just, learn other people, that's like the important of message here. And everybody eats it he up, so there you go. He uses his platform to prey on women. When he first contacted me, it was through the Ryan Moody um, platform on, on his Twitter. 
Yeah, I think we knew about his huge channel and everything else. Um, he created garlic bread after we had been talking. I think Just I've heard Just keep that enough. in mind, okay? You keep this in mind, Breezy. I need your support right now. I need for your positivity, you, so you your love, your hugs. Your I don't ask for it often, and but go just to right the now, place and um, drop just, it. I really need it. Can you do that? Thank you, guys. I love you, treasures. And remember, you're all beautiful. I just don't know. Let me know what's going on if you don't care. Because I was quiet with Just Breezy. Didn't do nothing with her and gar garlic bread or Jessica Messica. Don't want to. Don't have no desire to. But this is... Just let me know what y'all think. I love you, treasures. And I will see you on the next one.